So bourbon has become quite popular over the last few years. Many of the bottles that you've picked up have a Missouri connection. It's the secret ingredient, so to speak. And today, I'm taking you where you can't typically go. About 80 miles west of St. Louis in Cuba, Missouri, is a family-owned company that's made its mark on the barrel business. They all have to make 53 gallons but they're all different. Don McGinnis is the president of McGinnis Wood Products, a company specializing in bourbon barrels and wine sets that his father Leroy started in 1968 as a stave mill. As the whiskey industry went down, nobody would buy the stave. So we bought a barrel factory in Vancouver, British Columbia. They moved it to Cuba and have been rolling out. Some of the best white oak barrels in the world ever since. We shipped to France, Spain, Scotland, Sweden, uh, India. They, they get shipped all over. That, of course, includes the United States and a distillery or two in Kentucky. Our main customers is Heaven Hill Distilleries with Evan Williams, Elijah Craig, Larceny. These carefully crafted. Now he's going to draw that barrel up to keep it from falling apart and put a ring on it. Wooden containers are the secret ingredient to some of the best spirits in the world. We're going to put in the steam tunnel to get that barrel hot enough and soft enough to bend it. The building process is a well-oiled machine that starts by debarking a log. We split it in half and then we quarter it. Just like a piece of pie. Each piece is hand trimmed to the same length. These guys put the curve in the wood and the pieces are perfectly placed together and sent through the steam tunnel. There's no glue, no nails or screws. And then each bourbon barrel is charred. It takes about a minute. We, we shoot propane in there for 35 seconds and we let natural burn for another 30 seconds. The rings are added, water is added, it's pressure tested. And if all goes well, shipped out to be filled with bourbon. Amazing. They crank out between 650 and 700 barrels a day. I've never seen anything like it or guys work quite so hard. Now the process of making the wine barrels, it's a little slower, but what a cool business, right?